Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. This is going to be a quick video giving you an update one month in of me mining with my first Bitcoin ASIC. So I made this video last month getting started with my first Bitcoin ASIC. It was sent over to me by Chris at Mining Syndicate. And actually the exact ASIC that it is, just in case you missed it, is this Avalon 1066 Pro, which does 55 terahash per second. I don't have it mining right now at 55 terahash per second. We'll go over that in a little bit. But if you need anything ASIC related, reach out to Chris over at Mining Syndicate and he will be able to help you out. So I made this video just getting it set up for the first time, but I knew it could not stay in the basement there. It was just too loud, there's too much heat, too much power that was pulling. So a little later, actually um, almost a month ago to the day of me making this video, I decided to get the ASIC set up instead in the garage. I made this video, getting it set up out there. There it is, mining in my garage. And that's exactly still where it is. So I want to give you an update on how it's been going, my thoughts on it and adjustments that I've made and things I need to do with it still mining about one month later. So first of all, that ASIC miner is incredibly loud. We had people over for Thanksgiving and the kitchen and living room share the wall with my attached garage where the ASIC is. And it was just ridiculous. I mean, I couldn't watch TV you know, like pleasantly. And I didn't want that thing screaming when people were going to be over for the holidays. And at the time, it still was relatively warm, like 50, 60 degrees out. Now we're in the winter and it's much colder out there. And what I've noticed is that the sound, of course, the fans generate so much sound in that ASIC. There's just wine that is generated by them. They've absolutely toned down because the garage is colder. It's still really hot in there with the ASIC and 16 GPUs I have but it's much quieter because of the cold air. And I have a window in that garage wide open, uh, just getting that heat out. But one of the things I had to do just to reduce the noise a little bit was actually change the performance mode of the ASIC. So let me show you that here right now. So I'm over in the dashboard for this Avalon miner. And if you go to configuration, you can see that the work mode for the miner is high performance, which gets you that 55 terahash. And then also normal mode, which lowers the power and lowers the performance. And that's what I have it running at just to reduce the sound and the heat that was generated. And so what you'll see is in the last month, my profitability and the overall uh, Bitcoin that I've generated running it almost all on normal mode. So let's hop over to F2 pool that you can see here and you can see there's a month of me mining pulling like 45, 47 terahash on that miner. And if you go over to my revenue, you can see the amount of Bitcoin that I pulled in since then, which is 0 0.0085 in Bitcoin for a month of mining on normal mode. And if you wanna see how much that is in USD, that is $442.38 in US dollars. That is total revenue that does not take into account what I've burnt on electric. So let's head over to Awesome Miner which is what I use to take a look at how this ASIC is doing in profitability. And you can see hitting that 47 terahash on average, about 45 terahash per second mining Bitcoin to F2 pool. And with my electric rate here, you can see my revenue is $13 per day with where Bitcoin is right now, which is getting close to $52,000 per Bitcoin. And then my profit per day is coming around $6, which you're probably looking at that and going, Mike, all of that for $6 in profit a day. My perspective on this is if I can mine Bitcoin with any type of profitability, then I'm absolutely going to do it. Bitcoin is the one, right? So if I can mine it with any type of profitability, I'm absolutely going to do that. I would probably shut this miner off as soon as I cannot break even on my electric, whether that difficulty of the Bitcoin network were to rise or the Bitcoin price were to drop, but I would still just spend my electric if I could break even on it to mine Bitcoin directly. So that's my thoughts on it. If you were like, man, you're not making too much on that Avalon miner, you're right, but I'm still profitable. And that to me is what matters the absolute most. 
Now I'd like to experiment a little bit on the sound, reducing the overall sound that the ASIC makes. I have a couple ideas in my head, but you can see what some people have already done. They've put ASICs in coolers like this. That's an S9 in there. So the airflow can still get through the ASIC, but it keeps it insulated just to try to deaden the sound. You can see a couple different versions of that that people have tried over time. Uh, as well as I've seen these different versions of these 3D printed that attach to the fan and then allow you to attach uh, a vent or ducting right to it. And that might be something I might be interested in doing as well, just to get that ASIC venting right out of the garage. But I don't know how much that'll do to muffle the sound that just whine that those fans create. So what I'm thinking I might do is something similar to this, but use foam insulation board that we would use for like an exterior of your house or your roof and just build more or less, less like a box around it. And maybe as well do some ducting like this, but the sound is the most important to me. It keeps my garage nice and warm and I'm not really complaining about that. It's just really getting that sound deadened as much as possible. So I can get it back up to that 55 terahash that I want to run it at to create additional Bitcoin because that's what matters to me. The more Bitcoin, the better. So I think that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up. That's just an update on what I've been doing with the ASIC, what I've gotten as far as total revenue one month in the adjustments that I've made just to reduce the noise and the overall power and heat that it is generating, and some things I'm thinking about coming up just to make it a better experience mining Bitcoin at home. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU and ASIC mining content, and FPGA soon, by the way. Stay tuned for that. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.